All right, guys, so a little special, special edition video here. Um, so I'm at my local, not local, I'm actually in San Antonio. I'm at the San Antonio junkyard because I'm looking for some pretty simple parts for the Ram. Um, I wanted a flat silver fuel door instead of the chrome one that's on there. Uh, some tail lights, which I lucked out, which I didn't luck out. No tail lights, they're all gone. And I wanted the uh, mesh uh, black grill. So, I mean, a lot of times you can buy all these parts brand new, but if you're looking to save some coin and you got some time, I mean, why not? You know, junkyard's always an adventure. I've been going to the junkyard since I was in high school looking for parts for my GTP. But let me show you uh, today's finds. I did get lucky on a couple parts. Um, and that's what I'm gonna take home with me and then throw them on my Daytona. All right, so I found this beauty in the junkyard. Uh, it was the only one with the grill still intact. And this whole truck's in decent shape actually, but this is the grill. Um, you see it's chrome, mine is painted silver because of Daytona, but it's got that mesh grill that I want. Now it's a little uh, sun faded, but you know, with a little cleaning up, a little uh, plastic promoter and a little paint and you bring those back to life. And there's only one little broken rivet there, right there. So instead of breaking all of these off, I'm gonna buy this whole grill and um, just drill these out because I got plenty of little plastic rivets I can throw in there at home instead of trying to pry these off and then break in the actual grill. So, and then the chrome one, I'll either throw it for sale or I'll just straight up throw it away. Uh, the other thing I found was a silver fuel door, the built silver color. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but no biggie. That'll look nice versus the, the chrome fuel door that I really don't like. So, yep, just a couple hand tools. A little bit of time and we got some so now that i got my parts i'm going to got to put my mask back on uh buy these and if you guys don't know or if you live in san antonio uh military and first responders get in for free so you save two bucks coming in and if you don't find anything you just spend a little time luckily today i found some stuff maybe i'll spend definitely under 20 bucks i mean but we'll see so all right oh yeah so and you also get a discount for uh being military or first responder. So let's get out of here. Let's buy this stuff, get home, clean up this stuff and throw it on the, the, the uh, Daytona because it is hot today. Remember, Corona, safety first. All right, so I'm back home. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually uh, clean this thing up, right? Clean it up before we throw it on the truck. And then I'm gonna start messing with all the uh, plastic tabs on the back of this grill and uh, see if I can make this look just a little bit better right there. Other than that, the grill's pretty solid, so. Start by cleaning this up. All right, just like that, pretty clean. Just a little elbow grease. Let's go put it on the truck. There we go. I like that so much better. I just don't like the chrome fuel door on there. So, got rid of that. I'm just gonna take these off as well. Uh, so next is getting rid of this chrome. So you see these grills are left to right, while the one in the hood is sort of the honeycomb mesh, which is why I'm gonna switch it out. But first we need to get it out of the old grill. So let's start with that. All right, moving right along. Got all the push pins out. Got the grills right here and I'm gonna clean them up a little bit and hit them with some uh, plastic paint promoter and then spray paint them black and they'll be good as new. And of course I gotta fix this little piece right here. It's the only piece, but I have it right here and it finishes up the bottom of that grill. So no big deal. Just glue it back on and keep on. All right, I got them washed up. <laughs> they would have looked 10 times better just from washing them. It's still a little faded black, so not perfect. That's why we're gonna paint them. So I just got them out in the driveway, drying out. And once they're dry, get to right. paint. Got some of this uh, super glue. Glue that little piece back on, glue that little piece back on. So now they're ready for some adhesion promoter and some paint. So let's get to that. If you're wondering, it's the same stuff I use on my headlamps maybe five, six months ago. Duplicolor color plastic adhesion promoter. Trim and bumper paint. It's a nice matte black finish. I like this one a lot. part about this is because of the honeycomb shape, you have to hit different angles. You have to go from down, up, up, down, left, right, right, left, and then at this angle, and then back up at this angle so you get complete coverage inside the honeycomb grill. But for the first coat, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna do another light coat on top. Once this one dries, flip it over and do it all over again. And then um, we'll take the grill out of that puppy and throw these in. Well, while I was waiting for those uh, grills to dry, uh, Santa Claus came by and dropped off some Ram parts. So I got the McGoffey's uh, CNOPS kit. So these are instructions right here. 
And these are the C notches right here. So they came like this sandwiched together. Both of them got the new bump stops and of course the new hardware. So parts are slowly coming in. I got these off uh, Amazon actually. And I'm still waiting for the DJM drop kit. Check on Summit. Not supposed to be here until October. I think it was October, October 20th. Can't remember. But that was the uh, updated time frame. So then it stopped me from collecting more parts. I got this stuff coming in. I think the next thing I'm gonna do on the truck is actually the rack and pinion. I looked under there and some of the boots, uh, the passenger side boot was torn and leaking a little bit. So that's something I'm gonna have to go into and repair before I completely drop this truck. Or I can do it after. I mean, it's not really a big deal. Um, so yeah, truck's coming together, guys. Um, so happy about that. I'm gonna put these on my rack back there where the other parts are located. And then uh, we'll get to ripping apart the uh, grill on the ram right now. All right, guys, so it's actually the next day because it was getting pretty late yesterday because I did drive up from San Antonio, then I got a haircut, and then I started uh, painting the grill. So I let them dry overnight for, uh, you know, about 24 hours maybe. Uh, not even. But I let them dry overnight. So now I'm just going to get to taking those chrome grills off and then uh, putting these uh, black ones in, and uh, we'll be done for the day. So let's get to it. So now, same thing, gotta push these little push pins out, get the chrome grill out, and then um, put the new black ones in, so almost there. All right, so I finished this side. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the black honeycomb and the chrome uh, billet grill that comes with it. So. As you can see, this looks a little more modern and it sort of uh, matches the hood scoop. So well, that's the difference between the chrome and the honeycomb. All right, guys, so I just wrapped it up. Looks 10 times better now. Got the blacked out headlamps, got the blacked out grill, honeycomb to match this. So everything's starting to really tie in. Next thing I'm gonna do is get some smoked LED fog lamps. And of course my new tail lights. I think I'm just gonna have to end up ordering some of those. But yeah, truck's looking nice and clean now. All right guys, so that wraps up today's video. Uh, you can see the black girl's real good. The phone, I'm using my phone to record this video today just cause I was down in San Antonio. So it was just easier to grab my phone and be at the junkyard than lug around a DSLR. You know how that goes. So, but yeah, the girls are in there. The new gas cap's on there. Truck is starting to look a lot cleaner, so I'm really happy. So all I'm really waiting for now is that drop kit to arrive. You guys see I got the C notches in uh, yesterday, so that was really exciting. Finally got some parts rolling in. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video. And I want to show you guys this because you don't always have to buy new things. You know, you can um, you know save a couple pennies here and there if you do what I did in the in uh, today's video. You know, I went to the junkyard. I spent in total, I think it was twenty seven dollars. And actually, the most expensive thing wasn't the grill; it was the gas cap. So pretty crazy, but again, little elbow grease, can of spray paint. In total, if you go and get the two cans of the adhesion promoter or the paint promoter and the paint and go to the junkyard, you're looking at around 50 bucks and it might be cheaper for you to go and buy them new. So, but I already had a cans of spray paint lying around and it was just a little more cost effective for me to just go to the junkyard. And I, to be honest with you guys, I really enjoy doing stuff like that. You know, taking old stuff and making it nicer again. It's just, I like working with my hands, so. But if it's not for you, you know, just buy it and you. So, but yeah guys, that wraps up today's video. If you guys like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time guys, peace out.